Hi, it's time to pray for the USA states again, and today our state in the spotlight is Washington. Washington, on this little globe, Washington is in the yellow section, but it's in the upper western Pacific of the United States. Washington State is the 42nd state, and Washington State is also known as the Evergreen State. And today, we want to pray for the history, anything bad that was transpired through the centuries to the present time of Washington. And we also want to tug on the robe of the Lord and just remind him of all the wonderful plans that he has for Washington State. According to Jeremiah 29, 11, because the Lord knows the plans that he has for Washington, not to harm Washington, but to give them a future of hope. So join me in praying for Washington State. Dear Almighty God, Righteous Judge of Heaven and Earth, I place the state of Washington on the mercy seat to plead for mercy to cover all the bad history of the state of Washington. I repent for all communities of witchcraft and occult activities throughout their history up to the present time. I repent for how they defiantly resist the Spirit of God. I repent for confusion and deception that the occult communities bring to the atmosphere, to the people of Washington State. I repent for all broken covenants throughout the history of Washington State and how the land and territory has been defiled from innocent bloodshed, stealing, sexual sins and perversions, defying God and his authority, defying and rebelling against God's appointed authorities, allowing corruption, committing evil against kindness, substance abuse, greed, malice, selfish choices for selfish gain. And overall, the abandonment from ways of God. Father God, creator of the garden, uproot every foul weed causing disorder and confusion in Washington State. I repent for old mindsets and old ways of thinking that is preventing unity in the communities and in the church congregations. I repent for the denominational divisions, keeping the church weak in Washington state, and how the churches are more focused on their separate streams of faith instead of focusing on our common covenant, which is Jesus crucified and his blood sacrifice. Oh, Father. Uproot the traditions that keep up walls, a division between communities of people and church congregations. O oh, merciful God, uproot the occult weeds driving an atmosphere of confusion, deception, and division in Washington State. Lord of angel armies, command and send your angel armies to break down every evil altar in Washington State. Holy Spirit, blow and topple the thrones of corruption and iniquity in Washington State. Messiah Yeshua, cover those uprooted influences of corruption with your sacrifice, atonement, blood. Redeem the times when the doors were opened to darkness and occult ways. Renounce and revoke 
Every word, curse, every bitter root vow, every demonic trade, every demonic covenant, and every demonic dedication in the activities of darkness in Washington State. Command your angels to push back the darkness of every lying familiar spirit, discouraging the people. I declare resurrection life to every divine plan for Washington State. A divine whirlwind of Holy Spirit shall come to bring order out of confusion in Washington State. Holy Spirit will overshadow and hover to overtake congregations in Washington State to bring pastors into alignment with God's plan of order and resurrection life. Holy Spirit is removing all resistance to the move of God in Washington State. Those who truly want the move of God will clearly recognize the resistance and hardening of hearts in those who do not want the will of God but want religious traditions. People of God in Washington, do not be discouraged or disillusioned by the resistance. When you see this, you will know God is surely bringing the streams of faith together in unity to overthrow the darkness. God is performing his divine chiropractic alignment to reset the history that moved out of alignment with the plan of God in Washington State. The fog of unforgiveness in Washington State is lifting to bring about deliverance from many yokes of bondage. Captured eagles in Washington State will be set free by God and many reservations will also be set free by God's anointing. These prayers of repentance and these promises of hope, I pray in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified one, and his covenant atonement blood be applied to all that we have brought before the Lord God for Washington State. Amen and amen. And God bless the state of Washington.